Hey everybody, welcome to the Edge of Tech where we aim to educate and entertain the maker community. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to replace the touchscreen on the Ender 5 Plus with an analog touchscreen that does much, much more. My name's Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. So this is future Jim. I'm jumping back in here and re-recording this section because I thought it was pretty important to explain why we were doing this. We have taken this old touchscreen out of the Ender 5 Plus and we replaced it with a TH3D upgrade kit. What that does is throws away the uh, touchscreen and adds the analog screen back with the knob and button that you're used to. This allows for much more functionality than the touchscreen ever gave us. Yes, the touchscreen was nice, but I tell you what, it really limited us. And it was a pain in the butt to do simple features such as baby stepping, because you had to press that button so many times. So what we're gonna do is show you how to take out that old touchscreen and replace it with a kit from TH3D, which is in the description below. And I tell you what, the functionality is much better. And I tell you, it's a super simple thing to do. And if you're new here, don't forget that we do a live show on Monday nights, 6 p.m. Central, and we release videos on Thursdays. So check those out. Maybe give me the like, hit that subscribe button down here, and the little bell to be notified next time a video or a live stream starts. So let's do it. Once you got the case open, we're gonna replace this touchscreen right here with the brand new uh, Ender 5 Plus 12864 LCD upgrade kit from TH3D. We're gonna start by removing the stock display cable and you can remove it from both ends if you want to. Then what we need to do is take out four LCD screws and there's one in each corner. Once you get them all out, this is gonna be loose and this is gonna come off. Something to note down here, there's a wire right here that was actually connected to this bottom bolt here. Remember that wire. At this point, you can pull the old screen out and set that aside. Now you can remove the gasket and You'll need to take one of the screws you took the uh, monitor out and you'll need to reconnect that ground down here back to that post. Kind of hard to see, but I got a screw started here. Uh, I'm gonna tighten it in. Almost tight. Then I'm gonna push the ground back up in there. And we're gonna tighten it in from there to hold that ground so it's grounded again right here. What we need to do now is put our screen back and it goes right here. Uh, so you wanna take the screen you got from TH3D here and this is a very early model, um, a little bit different than what they're sending out now, but um, same principle. It has T-nuts here and the T-nuts are gonna slide into the extrusion like this. They're gonna cover that front hole, make sure it's fully covered and, and aligned nicely, and then just tighten your screws down here to lock those T-nuts in place. So from the bottom, that's what this looks like here. Uh, everything's locked in. Do not over tighten this, you will crack the case, uh, but everything's on, it's nicely centered and secured to the frame. Now that it's secured, we just need to plug in our cables and we're gonna use uh, the two ribbon cables that came with it. So we're gonna plug them into EXP1 and EXP2 on the board and on the screen. If you look at your board um, and you're looking at it straight on, EXP1 will be on the left, EXP2 will be on the right. So get those plugged into the board and I know that this first one is EXP1 and I'm gonna plug that in to EXP1 on the back of the LCD screen. The next one is uh, EXP2, and I'm gonna plug that into EXP2 on the back of the LCD screen. So that's what it should look like when you're done. Now that we got the display in, the cables connected, and we went through that, what we need to do is make sure that the, the screen comes on. And the easiest way to do that is to just plug the board into your USB. So we'll plug it in. You'll see the board come on here because of the power of the USB. If you look, you should see power to the board itself on the side. Now, in my case, I don't see power. So what I'm gonna do is reverse these cables here and see if that fixes it. What I did was literally pull them out and flip them around 180 degrees. And to do that, um, you need to have 
the connectors will need to be shaved a little bit. Um, in this case, my connectors were already shaved. So I just flipped the, the connectors around. I'm gonna plug this board back in. Let's see if we have a screen now. So if I look, I do have a screen and it is lighting up and that is a very good sign. At this point, with the display lighting up, you know that everything is plugged in and communicating correctly. You can put the bottom back on and that's what we're gonna do now. Now that the back is back on, we can flip the printer back up like it should be. Now you can see how it looks from the front. It's nice and it's center. It covers the whole back there. Everything looks really good. Um, again, this is a early version of this kit, so it, it's a little bit different than what you get now. If we plug the USB in, you'll see the screen turn on and that's what we wanna see. Now what we need to do is grab some firmware from TH3D's website and get that loaded up. Now what you want to do is go to the TH3D website and download the unified firmware which will be in the description below. Go ahead and open it up and you'll get uh, this window right here. Uh, it comes with a lot of really good stuff in here so take some time and check it all out. But this is the file we want right at the bottom here so go ahead and double click it and that will open up the uh, firmware itself. Go to configuration.h and hit control F for the find feature. Then you want to type in Ender 5 Plus. Perfect. Then uh, search that and when you search that you'll find the category right here for the Ender 5 Plus. You want to uncomment these two lines here and then uncomment these two because we have added the uh, new screen. So you need to make sure both of those are uncommented. So it'll say defined, it'll be highlighted just like that. Pop open the search again and type in silent board. And that will take us to the Creality silent board section of the firmware. You only want to do this if you have that TMC Creality silent board. Um, you want to go uncomment these two lines and that will tell it that you have that silent board. Then you want to go make sure you have the right port chose and the processor is going to be the 2560 Mega. When you got that far, just hit the upload button. It'll start the upload, it'll compile the sketch and push the firmware to your board. And then when it's completely done, you'll see right here, it'll say done uploading, thank you. And you'll be good to go. Well, there you go. We got the kit from TH3D. We installed it on the Ender 5 Plus and it looks great and it functions great. And that's what I love about it. You get more functionality back when you don't use that touch screen. Now I really did like that touch screen, but this just adds functionality back. All in all from start to finish, it's maybe a 20 minute process and anybody can do it. All you have to do is grab the parts or go to the link below in the description straight to TH3D. You can get the parts from them. I really like how it looks, they really made it blend in so you can't really tell it's there. And the instructions and everything that they had were awesome. This is the third video in the series of three videos. So this is the last one. What we accomplished in this series was we added a more silent fan to the case. We installed a better power supply from Meanwell. And we also did the conversion kit from TH3D to get rid of that touch screen and add this screen back in. That way we get added functionality back and this printer should run amazing with the TH3D firmware as well. Well, I really appreciate you guys watching all three videos in this series. I hope you guys learned something with all these videos and this one, and as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to catch us live on Monday nights on our live show called Hot Makes. Uh, we do that every Monday night at 6 p.m. and you can catch us there. Also, we're gonna start putting out videos every Thursday, so stay tuned for those too. So Monday night, 6 p.m., we do a show called Hot Makes. Thursday, we'll put out a video for you guys. Don't forget, if you love the video, give me that like with the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when we go live on Mondays or when the videos get released on Thursdays, please hit that little bell. Uh, it's right over here somewhere. <laughs> and uh, that'll notify you whenever we go live or we put a new video out. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you got some value from these videos. And you guys rock. Later.